and welcome to Innovation Oxford. I'm your host, Mike Harding. You know, Canadians, we spend a lot of time indoors in the winter, and so when summer comes, we want to get outside and enjoy what nature provides. But also, nature provides something that we really don't like, mosquitoes. There are about 300 or more varieties in the world, 60 of which are here in Ontario. And a couple really carry really naughty diseases, uh, like West Nile virus, uh, and even ticks with Lyme disease. So it's important to find a way to control them, if not eliminate them. When it comes to mosquitoes, there's a new business in town, so let's meet Jordan Lavin, a mosquito dot buzz. I hear you've got a buzz going on here. We do have a buzz going on. We've got uh, a mosquito buzz going on. And how did you come? It's a business, right? And what is it about this business that you do? Yeah, it's the business of, of uh, adult mosquito control. So we predominantly do back air mosquito control, residential, commercial. Uh, we do lots of events and weddings, outdoor uh, tent setups um, throughout Ontario, cottage country, urban areas, um, and we've expanded outside of the province now as well. How did you come to this business? You know, we've, uh, I've been doing mosquito control and mosquito control research for a couple of years, um, you know, sort of looking for a solution to a growing problem and an epidemic. Uh, and quite frankly, everybody hates mosquitoes. So if you can build a business on the backs of something that everybody hates, winning formula. Uh, so I've been following sort of the mosquito control trend starting from the southern U.S. and, and as it travels north to Canada. Um, so we actually started this business just before the break of the Zika virus news, uh, which was, you know, good timing as far as the media goes and as far as research into mosquito control goes. So um, we've been sort of building and, and creating this company over the past six months. Um, and we launched this April and uh, we launched in three locations and since doubled it to six locations, probably by, by the end of the year, we'll be open in 10, 10 locations. This is new to Canada, this business. This is new to Canada. Um, you know, we're, we're amongst the few that are, that are trying to control the mosquito populations and having great success with it, uh, which is why things are going very quickly. Now, does this actually just send mosquitoes away or does it kill them? I and mean, what does the product do? It, uh, it kills mosquitoes on contact and then it puts a repellent on, which uh, lasts, depending on weather, about 21 days. So when I say weather, it's not just rain, it's UV degradation as well. But we get really, really good control for 21 days. Our program structure uh, has us come back every 21 days throughout the entire season. So in southwestern Ontario, we do typically five applications a year. Uh, Muskoka, where the pressures are a little bit heavier, we do about seven applications a year. So we see ourselves back on the property on a regular basis. About the same time that the product starts to, uh, starts to you know, effectively stop controlling mosquitoes, we're back again and we do another visit. Now, now you give us uh, two options, don't you, the homeowner? What, what are those two options and why would you choose one over the other? Yeah, we do, uh, the two different products we use, uh, the synthetic product is, uh, is a permethrin-based product, very effective, kills on contact, controls for 21 days. The other option we use is an all-natural product, which is a concentrated garlic. Um, I'd say less than 5% of our customers choose that option. We tend to use that more in natural environments, uh, shoreline. So it's, um, you know, we may, we may treat the entire property with permethrin with the exception of a section of it where we'll treat with the, the garlic. We do have a few customers that just want the repellent, so we do the, the garlic option right. on those properties. Are you an applicator? Is that what you are? That is what I am. Yeah, an applicator, a technician, a licensed exterminator, whatever you want to really say. I'm not really doing exterminations per se, so <laughs> an applicator is fine. Extermination, that sounds very serious. <laughs> anyway, so what's the strangest place where you sprayed this? Well, I mean, it really depends on the type of strain strangeness. It, I've done swampy areas. Those are like obviously filled with mosquitoes, but at the same time, for me, strange is more just open hills with little vegetation. Now, how many people die as a result of uh, mosquitoes uh, and being bitten? Uh, annually, it's somewhere between 725,000 and 750,000. It's actually known as the world's deadliest animal. The uh, mosquito kills you know, far more than rabies from dog bites, uh, shark attacks, crocodiles, hippopotamus. You know, you go down the list of things that are considered to be scary, scary things and uh, mosquitoes are the very top of the list. Would that be mainly uh, malaria? Malaria, chikungunya, uh, dengue, triple E. Uh, now, you know, with the you know, recent news, you've got to add to the list, you know, Zika and West Nile. Obviously, malaria is the one that's, that's causing the, uh, you know, the 700 and some odd thousand deaths per year. Um, you know, I, I don't think it's officially been announced yet, but 
uh, from the researchers that we've been working with, they tell us that we're probably, um, you know, probably half a year away from Zika being able to be transmitted by um, common mosquitoes that we have here in Canada. So there's a technical name for those mosquitoes. I'm sure it's Latin. What would it be? Well, right now the the mosquito that's uh, that's got everybody's focus is the Aedes aegypti. Um, and that's the one that everybody's been looking at for. That's the, the one in Rio that's affecting everything? Yes, yes. And the Rio Olympics, obviously, from the time uh, as of today when we're shooting this, the Rio Olympics are very close. And um, the researcher that we, uh, that we work with at the um, University of Kentucky actually is, is very close at hand with the Rio Olympics. And he's working on how to try and assist in the control of mosquitoes there, which is a total outbreak. So this could be a very major public health issue right this here. could be a phenomenal public health issue. Yeah. Does it affect children more than adults? Um, you know, different people uh, have a different level of attractiveness to mosquitoes. Hey, do, you, do, you think, do you think that would include me, <laughs> that I'm attractive to mosquitoes? It might. I think that hat might keep them away, though. That's, that's kind of our, our built-in repellent. But, uh, yeah, it's interesting, you know, the, the, you know, if you do a little bit of research, different people have different levels of attractant to, to mosquitoes. And before I got into this business, I didn't understand um, that there's people that are severely allergic to mosquito bites and they swell up and, you know, you've seen people that are just absolutely covered in welts from three or four bites, whereas oh. you or I might get three or four and, you know, other than being itchy for a few moments, doesn't really affect us. But some people are, you know, very, very allergic to mosquito bites. Give us, give us some tips about how to send the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the mozzies, as the Aussies say, mozzies, <laughs> <laughs> away. What, what should we be doing to so protect ourselves? First thing, um, on, on, a, on, on property, the first thing you want to do is you want to remove any standing water that you can. Um, bird baths bird and the like. Bird baths, uh, kids' toys. Uh, mosquitoes can lay eggs in as much as a, you know, a cap. So if you've got a water bottle cap, they can lay hundreds of eggs just in that cap alone. And they survive how long? Um, the male mosquitoes don't survive very long. The male, <laughs> poor males. The, the females take us over. The females will typically live anywhere from a few days to a few weeks, but usually 20-ish days. Uh, the males are, you know, they're here for a short time. They're here for a few days. They do a job and then they're done. Just to make more mosquitoes and then more mosquitoes. And the females are the only ones that bite. So the females are the ones that they they require the blood meal. So they're the ones that bite us, and um, and then they lay eggs and. And, and now they, they can bite more than once. They can bite multiple times for sure. Yeah. So it's good to have some way to actually get rid of them. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, removing standing waters, number one, from your property. Um, obviously, dusk and dawn are the two times that you want to avoid being outside if you can. Um, you know, every, everybody you, you, you talk to says, oh, you got to cover yourself with DEET, wear lung clothes, this sort of stuff. We prefer to protect the environment. So we prefer to put a barrier application on the property that kills the mosquitoes and allows you know the kids to play outside and allows people to just stay outside all summer. So I mean they're sensitive to heat, uh, heat signatures. We give off a lot of body heat and CO2. Mike. Yes, they're they're attracted to CO2 and and you know in a season like this, 2016 is very very dry. Uh, so mosquito pressures tend to be down because there's not as many standing water breeding sites you know throughout the environment. Um, but there's still all kinds of mosquito pressure and, you know, regionally it can still be very, very strong. You know, there have been generations of people around the world dealing with the results of mosquito bites, particularly for malaria. The time is going to come here in Oxford County when this is going to be a major health issue. And this is the solution that we need to have here at home. We'll be right back in 90 seconds. Stay tuned. Mosquito Control Service from Mosquito.Buzz. We treat the areas where mosquitoes live, rest, and hide. Summer is short. Stay outside. Contact us today at www.mosquito.buzz.